Okay, today um, this is about iso, hypo, and hypertonic. Um, in this one, the water moves in and out of the cell at the same time. This is iso. Um, nothing happens to the cell. Does um, it get bigger or smaller? Or does it stay? It stays the same. Stay the same. Um, this one is hypo. The water moves into the cell, so the cell gets bigger. Um, this one is hyper, and the water will move out, and so the cell will shrink. Do you have pictures? Which one is that? That one's you. You're supposed to do this part. It's supposed to, not me. Okay. That's hypo. This, these cells haven't changed very much, right? Because we've got a good distribution of some that are kind of clumped up and some that are pretty well spread out. So these haven't changed their size, which makes it what? Iso. Isotonic. Very good. Next picture, please. I'm a beast. Okay, now here, this one is very different. We have a lot more white space. Look at this cell right here. Everything is condensed down into the middle. You got a good picture of that? Yeah, right. Everything's down into the middle. So, Ethan, what happened to the water? The, um, it shrunk and the cell membrane came in. Right. So the water left, which means the cell shrinks and the cell membrane comes in. So which one is this? Hypertonic, isotonic, or hypotonic? Hyper? Hypertonic. Awesome. There's one more hypo. Last oh, one? I don't have a picture of the hypo. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it.